Many people in this DC metro area are driven and they're driven in their careers and their social life. They want good standing in society. The thing about that is oftentimes that drive comes from a place of, oh, I'm not worthy right now. I need to get there so I can prove to myself or to others that I'm worth it or that I'm worthy. In the DC metro area, we size each other up, so to speak. We size ourselves up relative to people around us and we size others up to say, hey, am I worth being in this circle of people? Or is our time worth each other's time? That sort of thing. And it's very much based on accomplishments. It's based on our networks. Putting our worth on those things it's not allowing you to appreciate your worth where you're at. In our careers, in our social lives, there's always a new goalpost to try to attain to. And that in itself can be a journey, but it can be very tiring because the goalpost always moves. The thing about that is oftentimes that drive comes from a place of, oh, I'm not worthy right now. I need to get there so I can prove to myself or to others that I'm worth it or that I'm worthy. The thing is, you wanna give yourself some grace and say, right now, I'm beautiful. Right now, I'm worth it. You know, I identify with many patients who are driven in that way because I'm a driven person too. Um, you know, I wouldn't be where I am if I weren't. So to speak to myself as well, in terms of my self-worth, and to speak to you, the patient, in terms of, hey, you are worth it now. You are beautiful now, you are unique now. And once you embrace that, you know, that really propels you into that journey of, hey, I'm going to impact the world even more by achieving a more beautiful version of myself.